Spazzy Commentary and, and Plan. Yalla ya dub! Spazzy coming right at you with another commentary. Today we're playing Sivir, the new revamped, remade, re. did Sivir. I've got a glass of water, keeping it fresh today. I've already had too much coffee, so I'm keeping it low there. But uh, get yourself a drink, guys, and we're, we'll dive right into the commentary. We're gonna discuss mostly the changes. That's that's the main thing we're gonna talk about it here. Uh, the gameplay itself is not really. Uh, that amazing. It's just a normal fun game and as you can see we have a Kha'Zix new new lane which is... Uh, what? It's a bit weird. Um, but all the other games, honestly, were such a rape fest <laughs> with Zivir. I've had massive luck in, 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 in games with Zivir. I've, I've been I've been kicking ass basically and it's been pretty uninteresting footage. Um, and I say that just as we draw first blood. That's uh, contradictive, but that's okay. Gonna take a sip of the water. Ah. So... Um, I'm rocking the standard AD page, which is um, Lifesteal Quince, uh, Attack Damage Marks, Armor Seals, Magic Resist Glyphs, uh, 2190, a very, very standard AD carry page. When I come back here, I'm gonna derp a lot, uh, thinking I can freaking take them on because we've been zoning them the entire laning phase. Um, but a lot of damage comes out, I have to flash, I get a Shen ult from the Shen jungle. Strong. Uh, he's super low, so it was <laughs> really risky, but, you know, it's fun times. Uh, if you hear anything that sounds a little bit weird, it's my girlfriend in the kitchen. She's doing some some delicious brunch for us here. That's a nice play for from Kazix there, flashing in. I could have spell shielded it if I was a bit more pro, but obviously I am not. So the passive on Sivir are pretty much the same. Uh, get movement speed when you attack a champion. Uh, makes her very potent in chasing down opponents, and you can also kite if you're that skilled very nicely with it. Uh, the W is a big change. Uh, instead of a, uh, it's still an auto attack reset, which is important uh, because um, from a, for an AD carries pr perspective, that is a really strong mechanic. Um, but instead of uh, an, an enhanced auto attack that bounces around, the next three auto attacks will bounce around, and with your ultimate. Uh, You'll, you'll passively gain attack speed when you activate it. Here I'm gonna spell shield clutch from that Q. Ooh, uh, ult to get away because I played very bad, took turret hits and, and derped. Um, so yeah, the, the W is gonna be um, a, a, an attack speed increase when once you get your ultimate, because the ultimate has that passive. So if you activate it, you, you deal bouncy bouncy things. My girlfriend's making a smoothie right now. Mm, delicious. Um, and uh, you're gonna have attack speed. Spell shield, the E. Uh, same thing, um, except now it doesn't cost any mana, which is really nice. I, I like that mechanic. You get a little bit less mana from it, uh, but uh, it's good that you don't need to, mm, like, you can always use the spell shield, and that's how it's supposed to be, in my opinion. Here we make a nice little play. We go for a sneaky attack on this Nunu. Boomerang Blade hits, exhaust on Nami for some reason, and uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Shen comes in, goes for the flash. No, he doesn't. He just goes for the taunt, and we pick up the kill there as well. Very nice, very nice. Um, the Q is the same, it's just a massive damage uh, nuke from, um, from her, the, the boomerang blade. Uh, the ultimate is not longer a... it's a bit different, it's not longer a attack speed buff. Uh, it does give movement speed to the allies that are close to you, uh, that decays over time. But that's basically it, it's the movement speed, and then the passive is with the W. Uh, here I uh, flashed for the secure on Teemo, I wanted to uh, pick up the mushroom that Johnny said was there, and just as the spell sheet ran out, I stepped to the mushroom, it was really annoying. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I, I like what they've done with her so far, I mean, it's, um, it still, ha it still has that, you know, nice, uh, ricochet, boomerang, thingy, it, it, the, the feel of Sivir is still very much, uh, the same, and it's, it's the right feel, so to speak. Um, you do AoE damage, uh, you send out a nuke that kills people, and you run around with your ultimate. Uh, the thing that I hate the most, though, is this. Uh, because of her new animation, um, and because of the W passive from the ultimate, I have a really hard time with the auto attacks, because I... It, a lot of the times, I think that my autos go off, and I turn around, and they don't. So, I mean, obviously if I practice enough, I'll, I'll, I'll conquer this little hindrance. But because of, this change, because of these changes, I've been in a lot of situations where I think my autos go off, and they don't, and I miss kills, or I, I miss a CS, or I miss stuff like that. And it's just really annoying. Here I put my ultimate, only to realize that, hey, wait, it doesn't give attack speed, I'm an idiot, and I'm gonna die. But I get turret, so worth, so worth, it's cool. Um, so yeah, I just I just need to practice more, I guess. But but man, there's just something about that auto attack uh, animation. It, it looks nice, but it's very difficult. I can't believe she didn't get knocked up there. That's so weird. 
Um, it's so difficult to, to sort of like make it know when your orders go off. I don't know. I should stop whining about that, I guess, and just get better. Here, I should have spell shielded the Nunu. I don't know why I didn't. So, I'm a nobody. Um, build wise, I don't know. The, the, the Trinity Force, while a good complement to her passive to make you freaking ch a, a chase machine, um, I don't really think that your W is on a, a low enough cooldown for you to make the most out of that item. I think I do get it in this game just to try it out and have fun with it, but. Honestly, I don't really think that it's the way to go. Uh, usually what I've been doing is getting a Brutalizer and then a Static Shiv. And then uh, a Last Whisper. And then if I need defensive items. I'm gonna Spell Shield that Lee Kick. Uh, Lee, Sonic, Giggity, whatever it's called. And we're gonna decide to defend this. Acclimator pops uh, ult after I pop my ult. We kite around, we get a Shen ult coming in. I should have attacked Nunu here to pick up a kill on him. But instead, we go for the Lee, who takes aggro. Nice taunt, we pick up the kill. Acclimator with a Secure, uh, reported. That's a little zoning bubble there or something. I don't know. We'll pick up that kill as well. John is coming in with his ultimate. Doing massive damage. Uh, but can he survive though? The damage from the Tito is kind of strong. And he goes back. But no. Too bad. Too bad. I'm going to try and pick up that kill. I do it. And then that's unfortunate. Very nice play from Timo. Um, I spell shield because I want to spell shield this room and, and chase him. Ooh. -hoo -hoo -hoo. The flash taunt from Shed. Oh. And he was talking. That was funny. That was funny. The Timo was like, I'm okay. And then the flash play. So mean. Um, but yeah, Timo used his um, blinding dart before I stepped on the trap there. So that was, uh, that was a nice play from him. Gonna look to team fight here again. We feel like we're in a good position, but it's still anyone's game. Very much so. We've been derping a little bit. We've been giving them kills. And um, their setup is a little bit weird, but uh, still, uh, still not a free win. Uh, here comes the cat ult. Not really gonna be that eff effective. Um, we're gonna kite around now. Use the movement speed. Pick up a kill on Lee. I see that I have an auto attack uh, lined up with my W. So I'm gonna flash and use Q uh, to get a double kill. And uh, can't believe I don't... Well, I spell shift the Kha'Zix slow, I guess. But the Shroom is forever. Uh, it slows in but tastic um hunting they're trying to bait i mean gyms they're trying to bait there with rice but we're not we're not able to meanwhile an epic save oh yeah no timo shrooms for kills tonight gonna spell shoot the slow and go in like a madman try and pick up the kill the damage is kind of good but he jumps away as is to be expected from a hasix so we're gonna push for inhib now and uh then we're gonna derp stay and uh, they're gonna be able to push for our inhib and this is where we're gonna fight them again. Uh, I just spawned, I just respawned, I do have my uh, last whisper now. Uh, so this build is a little bit weird, I don't know, but but it, it's okay, I guess. Uh, I, I still feel that it's stronger to not go for Trinity Force. I don't know, I don't know, it's still it's still nice though. It's nice to get that movement speed imbonus. Um But yeah, but yeah, what else is going on? Uh, we're gonna pick up a kill on this Katarunu. I don't know why she turned, that was really weird. She had full vision on us and everything. Uh, we're gonna look for this Lee. I think he's around. Yeah, he's definitely in that brush. We should go for him, not for the blue. What are you doing, you know? Go for the Lee Winger. There is the binding. There is the boomerang bleed. And there is the overkill. <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be a Baron for us. We're gonna go for it straight away. And uh, as Shen is moving in from the side here, uh, we're gonna be able to uh, get a nice taunt on that Nuna. I'm gonna pop my ult just to make sure. Get everything off on him and, and pick up the kill there for Slink. Getting the Baron. Johnny getting low, but it's not even close, as they say. And uh, we go for... The red, of course, at least I do, I think. Balls deep. Uh, ballsy place of death. After that, we're gonna push up the bottom. Uh, and here uh, comes a little uh, nice uh, demonstration of the damage. There's a couple of auto attacks, there's the Q, and that's half her HP. So that's kind of nice. She does have Sonya's as well, and yeah, that damage. I do think she had Sonya's at least. So, Sivir, very potent, very potent. I like her, I just need to work with the auto attacks a little bit more. I'm gonna spell shit at Nunu, and I don't think he had... I thought he used Flash before, that's why I popped my ultimate, but apparently uh, he, he still had it. Nice little prison from the uh, Aklipu on the support, and uh, now we're, we're working on them in the fountain. That's uh, something that you always need to do if you can. See if you have the deeps. See if you can kill the Teemo. Come on. There it is. Perfect. Perfect. Um, that's basically going to be game. I hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary. Make sure you pick up Silver and try her out. I think she is rather crisp after this little update. If you did enjoy this commentary, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Add it to your favorites. Share it on Facebook and Twitter. And also subscribe so you don't miss anything coming out in the future. This has been Spazzy. I'm Platy. And we're both out. A girlfriend. Dudes.